It's going to be a very broad conference covering all aspects of ovarian cancer research from prevention, uh, early detection, to DNA damage repair, uh, critical drivers such as p53, uh, tumor microenvironment, uh, immunology, immunotherapy, uh, pretty much uh, something for everyone. Well, I think that with the completion of the TCGA and other genomic efforts, we, for the first time, have a pretty comprehensive anatomy of the disease. And I think the challenge now is to convert that an anatomy into a deep understanding of the pathophysiology of the disease and, and moving it towards therapy. I think on the therapeutic side, of course, there's a great degree of enthusiasm in all areas of cancer about uh, immuno-oncology uh, or tumor immunity and um, that hasn't escaped the ovarian cancer field either, and there will be sessions on that at the meeting. Other areas that are of interest, of course, are, are recent discoveries as to the origins of ovarian cancer, um, as well as how that leads into uh, novel biomarkers, which uh, open up a whole field for uh, both prevention and early detection. And I think that's part of the challenge of this meeting, is to move beyond the, the standard of care therapy, which has pretty much been largely unchanged for uh, you know, almost 30 years which is platinum-based chemotherapy. I mean, there have been some minor changes, but um, we really need to advance the field. And I think that, um, you know, the genomic uh, understanding and, and the new insights into anti-tumor immunity are going to lead the way um, to those new approaches. So the great thing about this meeting is that it's really a forum where ovarian cancer scientists come together to discuss the latest developments in ovarian cancer research. So it allows their early investigators to really get into the ovarian cancer research community. Obviously there's opportunities for networking, there's opportunities to interact with peers as well as senior scientists. There's an excellent array of invited speakers and oral abstract presentations as well. We're in an era now of collaborative team science, and certainly this is a great meeting where collaborations will begin. And for both early career and mid-career investigators, it's an opportunity to meet people who are out of your specific area of research and to establish new research teams. And we know that research is much more successful when people of different backgrounds get together to work on a common theme. This is becoming the leading forum for ovarian cancer research. It's a meeting that you don't want to miss. I couldn't agree more.